Configuring your Minimate Pro to use a cellular modem with AutoCall Home saves you time and energy by automatically sending your monitoring data directly to the cloud or to your computer. You will no longer have to go to the monitoring station to collect your data. This video will show you how to configure the Minimate Pro, the cellular modem and Thor AutoCall Home. We recommend using the Sierra Wireless AirLink LS300, RV50 and GX400 modems. These modems have been tested and are supported by Instantel. This video will demonstrate how to configure the AirLink RV50 modem. It is important to note the modem requires a public static IP address. The Minimate can connect to the modem using either of the proprietary serial or Ethernet cables. In this video, we will use the serial cable. To insert the SIM card into your modem, you will need to remove the protective cover. Insert the SIM card in your modem. Replace the protective cover. We highly recommend configuring the modem in your office before installing it in the field. Connect the antenna to the modem. The optional diversity antenna can be used to improve the signal strength. Connect the proprietary serial cable to the serial port of the modem. The other end of the cable will be connected to the Minimate Pro later in the video. Plug in the modem power supply to the power outlet and then connect it to the modem. Once power is supplied to the modem, it will initialize. This will take approximately 60 seconds. After the modem has initialized, position the antenna to maximize its signal strength. The signal LED indicates the signal strength. A good signal strength is indicated by a solid green LED. Amber indicates a fair signal strength. If the LED is red or flashing amber, relocate the antenna to improve the signal strength. Open a web browser like Chrome or Firefox and enter the public static IP address of your modem and default port number for the ACE Manager, 9191. The IP address is a set of four three-digit numbers separated by periods. This is followed by a colon and the default port number for ACE Manager. This opens ACE Manager web application and allows you to log in to the modem. Use the default username user and the default password 12345 to access the modem. Once you have successfully connected to the modem, several settings will need to be modified for the modem to operate properly. Select the Serial tab in ACE Manager application. Any changes are highlighted in yellow until they are applied to the modem. Set the Serial port to Enabled. Set the Startup mode default to TCP. Set the Configure Serial ports to 115,200, 8N1. The 115,200 number is the baud rate and must match the value you enter into the Minimate Pro later in this video. Set the flow control to none. Set the DB9 serial echo to disabled. Set the data forwarding timeout to five. Set the data forwarding character to zero. Set the device port to 9034. Set the serial MTU to 1304. The destination port and destination address is where your recorded event data will be sent. To send the data to Vision, Instantel's cloud hosting data service, set the destination port to 8070 and destination address 209.217.83.116. To send the data to your own computer, enter the specific port number and IP address of your computer instead of the Vision destination port and address. Note, if this is the first time you are configuring a unit to send data to your computer, we recommend contacting your IT specialist for the port number and IP address. The IT specialist will have to route the data received on this port and IP address to your Thor computer. The last setting in this section is the default dial mode. For this should be set to TCP. The port configuration settings can now be closed and the advanced settings opened. Ensure the advanced settings are set the assert DSR to in data mode, Set the Assert DCD to In Data Mode. Set the DTR Mode to Use DTR. Set the Quiet Mode to Disabled. 
set the AT verbose mode to verbose, set the call progress result mode to disable, set the convert 12 digit numbers to IP address to use as name, set the disable ATZ reset to off, set the IP list dial to disable, set the keep alive mode to disable, set the keep alive delay to 10, the advanced settings can now be closed and the TCP settings opened. Set the TCP auto answer to enable. Set the TCP connection timeout to 30 seconds. Set the TCP idle timeout to 65. Set the TCP idle timeout unit to second. Set the TCP connect response delay to zero. Set the include device ID on TCP connect to disable. The device ID prefix is to be blank. The device ID suffix is to be blank. And set the send CRLF after device ID to no CRLF. Thor does not support UDP communication. The done settings are also not used and can be ignored. Select the apply button to save these changes and complete the settings. All the modem settings have been configured properly. To complete the setup, the modem must be reset. To reset the modem, press the reboot button at the top of the screen. This will also log you out of the modem. Now let's set up the Minimate Pro. Make sure your Minimate Pro is at the home screen displaying the ready to monitor message. If you're not at this screen, press the cancel key until this screen is displayed. Enter the setup menu by clicking on the setup touchpad. Use the arrow keys as well as the enter and cancel keys to maneuver through the menus. The bottom of the screen displays the available options. View edit preferences and go to auto call home. In this menu, ensure that auto call home is enabled. The interface is set to serial. The serial baud rate is set to the same value as with the modem, 115,200. The session timeout is set to 30 minutes. It is worth noting that the session timeout is the amount of time the unit will stay connected to transfer the event data. If the session times out for any reason before all of the data is transferred, the call home session will be terminated. No data will be lost as a result of the session ending. The Minimate Pro will retry sending the data the next time it is connected. To save these settings, press the Enter key. Once the settings are saved, Press the cancel key until the ready to monitor screen is displayed. In this case, the cancel key acts as an exit or back key to return to the main screen. None of your changes will be lost. Take the serial cable that was previously connected to the modem and connect the free end to the Minimate Pro's auxiliary port. Make sure the modem is powered on. Now let's set up Thor. Start Thor by double-clicking on the Thor icon that was added to your desktop when you installed Thor. To ensure Thor can communicate with the Minimate Pro, select the Units tab. If the unit serial number does not appear in the list of units, select the Add button at the top right of the Details window. If the serial number already exists, select the unit and press the Edit button. Enter a name for this unit. Enter a description for this unit. This could describe the monitoring equipment. For example, ISEE, geophone, and linear microphone. Enter the serial number. Set the unit type to Minimate Pro. Set the communication to TCP. Set the IP address to the public static address of the modem. Set the port number to 9034. Set the check monitoring unit automatically to Use Preference Settings. And press the OK button to save these settings. With the unit serial number highlighted, press the green refresh icon at the top right of the details window. This will force Thor to communicate to the unit through the modem. If Thor is successful in establishing communication, a green check mark will appear on the unit icon and the dashboard will be updated. In the Manage Units window, select the Auto Call Home Setup at the bottom right of the dashboard. Thor will display the current Auto Call Home settings. Make sure Auto Call Home is enabled and the unit is set to call home after an event. If any of these settings were changed, press the Apply button to send the updated information to the unit. Press the Done button to exit the screen. And the last step is to ensure Auto Call Home is enabled. 
Select the Auto Call Home tab at the top of the screen and open the General Configuration options. Ensure the TCP port number matches the destination port entered in the modem. We recommend contacting your IT specialist for the port number and IP address. In this video, we used Vision's port number 8070. Press the Start button. To confirm the system has been configured properly, ensure the modem signal strength is green or amber and the Minimate Pro is monitoring in waveform mode. Shake the geophone to create an event. Once the event has been recorded, the Minimate Pro will establish the connection and transfer the event to Thor. Ensure the event is transferred to your PC. For additional information and other optional setup information, please refer to the Auto Call Home section of the Thor User Manual.